Hey everyone, this is James here at Brick Blender, back with the next tutorial in our series. And we're on to rendering a Lego brick, or a digital equivalent. And here we are back in Blender, and surprise of all surprises, we are back in 2.49. Now I really wanted to do this whole series in the latest version of Blender, but a feature was removed that was... Uh, critical and you couldn't really do it in 2.54 so hopefully they'll get that fixed but uh, until then we're back into 2.49 for this video which is okay it's, uh, that's okay 2.5 is really awesome though so we're gonna want to get back in there as soon as possible in our previous video we went through importing bricks so now that we have that down and we have our brick in blender I use the LDraw import script for anyone interested. Now that we got it in here, we can get down to rendering. So let's uh, just flick over to our camera view by hitting zero and make sure that it's in a good position. We can just adjust this a little. Then let's uh, head over to the scene tab down here and we're gonna make this a uh, slightly nicer resolution. It's not too important for this video. So let's hit the F12 button and see what we have. And there's our brick. But as uh, as you should be able to see, this is not a very realistic representation. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, do a quick cheat on the lighting. And we're going to do that by going to our shading tab and our world buttons. And this little tab over here, Ambient Occlusion, is the best cheat you will ever find. So I turn it on and I'm going to turn the samples up to 10, which makes it very realistic. And a note about this, we would never, or you should never use this in an animation unless it's a very simple animation. Because it is so render intensive that it's just not worth it. I used to use it, but no more. And let's change the world scene to be a nice white background. I seem to like the white backgrounds for some reason. And let's hit render. And here we are. Our previous render took one second. This render took 24 seconds. Already we're starting to see some render uh, slowdowns because of uh, our increased settings. So I'm actually, I think 10's a bit too high, even though that's nice. We're gonna turn it down to five. And a quick note about what I'm doing here, a lot of it is thanks to a great tutorial done by William Chamberlain a number of years ago. Unfortunately, that tutorial is now offline, but uh, his, uh, his legacy remains. Thanks, Will. Okay, so next thing to do is, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to make our brick look a little more realistic because it's not looking so hot. So we're gonna so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our editing tab down here. We're gonna go to the modifiers. We're gonna add a modifier called bevel. And what it has instantly done is it's rounded out the sides. And I don't know how well you can see that here, but it's got just, it's added just a little bit of an edge. And that makes it much more realistic. If you use the LeoCAD import, you're gonna wanna put, to, put it to 0 0.01. But since this is the LDRAW import script, it works a bit differently. So I think 0 0.1 works. And yeah, that that's looking pretty good. We could probably even turn it up if we really wanted to, but no, we're not gonna worry about it. It looks good for now. But one of the things that you're going to notice is uh, the studs aren't looking all that great. So we're going to go into the edit mode and make sure in your face select by going down here. And we're going to hit A to select all the faces. And then we're going to hit the B key. And that's going to give us our box select tool, which is very handy. And hitting our scroll button, middle scroll button, we're just going to deselect, drag and deselect all those studs but not the tops, okay? So we've only deselected the sides. Everything else is still selected. Then we're gonna go back to our modifiers tab and we're gonna hit bevel width. And now it's turned everything off. But we turn it back on and apply it 
only to the studs by hitting Control shift e and then hit the one key and that will give us a bevel weight of one and then if you hit the left mouse button we will see the effect all right so that's looking looking a bit better um, one of the things that you gotta remember is realism is subtlety so you might not notice a huge difference but they are definitely there and I'm just gonna experiment for a second turn this up see what we get point two yeah, let's give that a try no nope, that's too much point one's good so we're gonna leave it at point one and let's see how things are looking it's not looking too bad it's not looking too bad um, I think actually it does deserve to be turned up a bit more uh, I guess I'm more used to the Leocad bricks for some reason let's give that a try so now we can really see the rounded bricks rounded studs and uh, yeah I, li I like point two I guess I'm not really sure what's up with that but I don't know why I'm doing this tour then if I don't know what's up ah uh, it's all good it's all good okay so let's um, make sure it's set smooth and you can fiddle around with these settings what I want to get into is the material settings so we're going to ratchet up the realism by putting it to point 1 we're going to put turn the gloss down to point 9 we're going to turn this setting which whatever it is up to 1 and we're going to turn down the samples a little bit because if we don't want the rendering to take too long we're going to put the samples to 10 so we now have the samples at 10 and we're going to see what it looks like so what the ray mirror has done here is it's added a reflection to the material if you look at lego it's a little bit shiny and it looks really good there's still a few elements of realism that need to be added and a few tricks that need to be learned but so far it's looking pretty good and it's only going to get better if you'd like a copy of this blend file I'm more than willing to send you a copy uh, and you can poke around and take a look at it just send me a message on uh, YouTube and uh, I will I'll send it over to you subscribers only uh, so next video we're gonna be adding some more realism to these studs and I'm probably going to be switching over to the Leo cab bricks because these are slightly off but they work they work for the tutorial uh, and if you do this which I recommend you doing then I also recommend you use the Leo cab bricks because those work a lot better let me tell you yeah that's it for the video I hope you enjoyed watching and until next time I'm James and uh, keep blending